What's going on everybody, Going Uber here, and I want to start out by saying I'm very sorry I did not upload yesterday, and that I got a late start today. This is real time right here, well about an hour or so after videoing this you will see this video. Um, boy, we got a ton of snow, it snowed straight for two days. Um, this was my ride into work yesterday. Okay, after about an hour of digging, scooping, and pushing, I'm out of the stuck spot. Let's see if I can make it at least off my road. Oh, no cars are coming because if I stop, I'm going to get stuck. Yeah. So, I think we got a little, you know, I'm sure we got a foot of it over the last two days here. Let me put my seatbelt on. And uh, yeah, it was just a, a rough day. And going Uber's got a lot going on. So, you know, every now and then I'm gonna take a day or two off. Um, I needed to regroup anyway. So before I get to the shop and we check things out there, uh, there is something I wanna address. And this is going to be the only time that I address this. I have not spoken about this. Uh, well, actually yesterday I mentioned a little bit about it. Um, and a live Instagram thing that I did yesterday because somebody wanted to know. All right, well, here it is. Yes, I've had an issue with a couple different people on YouTube. Um, these things happen. They do. Um, they don't like me. I don't really care too much for them. That's obvious. Uh, the difference is I will not and do not go out of my way to talk about them, say anything about them. Um, I don't go to their channel just like their videos. I want to keep it positive at all times. That's why I don't really feed into the stuff too much. Um, it was brought to my attention that these two people ended up getting a ton of dislikes on their videos and um, over this situation, which means uh, some of my subscribers know what the deal is. They either read comments and stuff on past videos and, and know who I have these issues with and they decided, well, I like going Uber and I'm going to go and dislike these people's videos. Uh, I'm not going to thank you here for that. That's not something that I do. I don't dislike people's videos, even if I don't like them. Um, that's just not how I roll, man. You guys got to understand that this is a very small community. In the overall picture on YouTube, and in general, this is a very small community, and we're all not going to get along. And that's just the way it is, like it or not. You know, I don't like it, but that's just the way it is. We're all not going to get along. But I will not go and dislike somebody's video on here. If I don't like them, I just I won't even watch their videos. Plain and simple. Um, I would like that my followers kind of. Um, and I follow a lot of you as well, so, but I, I would like it if, if you guys kind of took a page out of my book with that. We might not like our neighbor, but that's no reason to go and egg their house. Um, not everybody's going to like you. Not everybody's going to like me. And that's all right. I don't like everybody too, you know what I mean? But on my channel, I want to keep it positive at all times. I don't even like making this video. But after seeing the dislikes that these channels got, it, it did kind of upset me, even though I don't care for these people very much. 
it still upset me because it's still they are still part of our community and there's enough people on the outside of this community that don't want us to have reptiles that don't want us to be breeding reptiles that don't think it's okay to be keeping snakes and reptiles so I choose not to do any infighting like that you know with this whole thing going on I haven't made a video and talked about it because it's not you know I I think it's it's childish and stupid to have some sort of war over social media I've never played into that drama game and I'm not going to unfortunately I'm mentioning it now but that's because I don't want my subscribers and going going and disliking somebody because they leave a comment on my page that they might not like um, they have the right to say and feel the way they do like it or not they do um, before anything I'm a constitutionalist and that comes before everything that comes before my family that comes before my religion because without it I wouldn't be able to raise my family the way I see fit I wouldn't be able to have the religion that I choose and this stuff is rather important to me a lot of men and women have died to protect these rights and I do not take that in vain. I honor the people that have fought for my rights and your rights. I always will. And it's very important to me. So they have the right to their opinion. Wrong or right, they have the right to their opinion. And if they want to voice it on my, my videos or whatever, fine. But I would be very grateful if you all would just um, don't go and dislike people's videos. Even outside of this forum, really. You know what I mean? Uh, somebody's creative content is their creative content. And I'm going to be honest with you, and this is hard to do because, again, I'm not a big fan of these people. But one of these people knows their stuff when it comes to the ball python, has been doing it for a while, and has a lot to offer along those lines. The other person is new to the community, new to breeding ball pythons, still learning a lot. Um, and again, even though I'm not a fan, he has something to offer this community. Um, even the new guys that jumped on board and, and feel like, you know, they're on the side of right and coming at me and stuff. Don't go dislike their videos. They have a right to their opinion. Wrong or right, they have a right to it. Now, I'm saying this be mainly because I didn't realize how many people went and disliked these people's uh, channels and stuff. And I don't like that. That doesn't make me feel good. Um, they also believe that it's me with 30 different fake accounts and doing that. I have not hit one dislike on anybody's video at all. I learned a long time ago when I had my motovlog channel. I commented on a guy's motovlog. And he was a, one of the bigger motovlog guys. He was, he was much bigger than my channel at the time. And my channel was pretty decent. Um, it was Chased on Two Wheels. was his channel. And he ended up having like three or four motorcycles stolen from him. And he kept clamming him into his insurance. And his insurance kept going up every time he got a motorcycle. So at one point he made a video asking his subscribers to send him money to buy a new bike. Because he didn't want to claim it into the insurance. Because his insurance would go up real high. And I commented. I was like, well, dude, that's not cool. You know what I mean? Asking your subscribers to pick up your pieces. Because, you know, you didn't do a you know, sufficient job at locking up and securing your motorcycle. For like three times in a row. And let me tell you, man, the next morning I woke up and there was so many dislikes on my videos. Like, it was crazy. So, if you don't like somebody that's got a, a little bit of a following, um, and you dislike something on their videos, let me tell you, their people are going to come out. And they're going to come after you. And uh, I don't agree with it, but they do. So, because of that reason, what happened to me with that... I chose, I'm never going to dislike somebody's video again. Now, one of these people, I commented on their Instagram, on their Instagram, something that I probably shouldn't have commented, something that was none of my business. Even though we put it out in the public forum, and I have an opinion, I shouldn't have commented that, you know, I thought that lacked class. Shouldn't have done I shouldn't have said anything at all. And this is a while back, you know. Um, and I told this person, hey, dude, shouldn't have said that, I'm sorry. Evidently, he chose not to accept that apology. I said my sorries. That's all I can do. That's it. The other person um, I felt came at me. I mean, I know they haven't liked me for a while. 
and when I miss, messed up in a video, they came at me in a rotten kind of way, and I responded in kind. And it snowballed from there, and it hasn't gotten any better. Um, to those two people, this is it. This is all you're getting from me right here. I'm not using names. I won't mention names of people that have contacted me and, and said, hey, don't worry about it, keep doing you. I'm not doing that. This isn't about that. If that's what you guys want to do, that's your choice. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to keep to my plan. Um, I'm going to keep up with my YouTube, even though it's been leaving a kind of a crappy taste in my mouth. I'm keep moving forward. That's what I'm going to do. So, in closing to this subject, if you don't like a video, everybody, and you're a subscriber of mine, and you want to be a positive person and really be a good part of this community. Don't go disliking other people's videos, even if you don't like them. If they do something in a video that you don't agree with or you think is harmful to somebody, politely tell them in a comment. I find that doing it in a private message actually works a lot better. Saying something negative to them in their, on their, right in front of everybody on their comment section um, doesn't, isn't received well. It doesn't usually get across what you're trying to do. But don't dislike people's videos. We need to try and stick together, like like each other or not. We need to kind of stick together because, again, we are a small community and there's enough outside sources that are trying to get after us about keeping reptiles. And it's more important to me that um, everybody is, is working with each other, not against each other. Will this ever happen in this situation? I don't know. I hope so. But regardless, I don't dislike videos. If you're on my channel and you see somebody coming at me or whatever and it upsets you, um, I thank you for the sentiment, but don't worry about it. No need to let it turn you negative. Um, I don't want it to turn me negative. You know, these, these guys might feel like they're actually doing some sort of justice and they might feel like they're right. I can assure you all that they're not. That they're taking words that I've said and kind of twisting them around to fit their need, in my opinion. And they're doing this because they're upset with how I handled them in comments and in situations. So, because I chose to take a certain route, I'm sleeping in the bed I made, I guess you would say. Um, but I'm not going to force them to sleep in a bed that they've made. I don't want that for anybody. So, that's it. That's the elephant in the room. That's what I haven't been talking about whatsoever. I'm seeing people make an Instagram post that don't know what they're talking about, getting involved, and that's not going to help them either. And I actually give a crap if it does or not. Everybody else might not that's involved, but I do. People are not liking it. They don't want to see it. And it's showing. So, I say wipe the slate clean start over or at least bare minimum just respect each other enough not to slander each other or slam each other or attack each other's channels all right i'm at the shop i got work to do again sorry i didn't upload yesterday sorry for this video i just wanted to put this out there i truly care about the community as a whole and everybody in it um like the person or not that really has to come for it first for me so that's where I stand. Love you all, and as always, see me bye.